Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by Freeplay Human Powered Devices, cat5.tv slash freeplay. So tonight the theme is free alternatives to commercial software. Another piece of commercial software that you're going to need for your computer if you're on Windows is Microsoft Office. Plain and simple, right? Did you know that there are alternatives out there? And we Linux users, we, we know about this stuff. We've got OpenOffice and LibreOffice has come out of that. And so we know about these things because they come with our operating system. But did you know that you can actually get these free Office suites for your Windows computer, also your Mac? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up a website here, LibreOffice.org. That's how it's spelled. And this suite of software gives you Calc, which is the equivalent of Excel, if you will. It's a spreadsheet program. Impress is the equivalent of PowerPoint. Presentations. Draw lets you do your diagramming and charting. Base is for databasing, kind of like Access. Math is for doing your formulas for your documents, and so on and so forth, right? And the big one, Writer, just like Microsoft Word. Here's the thing about LibreOffice. If you're concerned about installing an alternative to Microsoft Office, the, the biggest concern is usually, well, I need to be able to open files that are sent to me and vice versa. So here's the thing. I'm going to bring up, I'm just going to go to Google. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to do uh, Excel spreadsheet examples. I'm going to go to uh, the first one that comes up, xinfm.com. Okay, so here's a bunch of XLS files. I'll just click on the first one. Okay, so I've got it. There it is. So you see that this was actually created in Excel. It's an XLS file, just like your Excel files. And I'm going to double click on that. You'll notice that I have LibreOffice installed. And yet, it's going to open this Excel spreadsheet. And there we are. So, incredibly, we don't actually need Excel to open this Excel file. Let's create a new spreadsheet just so that you can see how similar this is. Right? It's pretty much. If, you're, if you've ever used Excel, it's pretty much exactly the same. Formulas, sums, it's very, very similar in its functionality. But watch this. File, save as, formats, okay? It has its default format, ODS, but then it also has Microsoft Excel format, Microsoft Excel templates, all these different formats. You can save to CSV, comma separated values, all these Microsoft formats, see? So you can actually save again to an XLS file and send it to your buddy who only has Microsoft Excel. And they'll be able to open it on their system. I do that all the time at work, transferring stuff back and forth. So then you get into LibreOffice Writer. This is where things get really exciting because it's, it's very much a clone of Microsoft Word. It gives you the ability to do word processing. And again, watch this, save as, and all formats, we have Microsoft Word document file, DOC, right? You can open them, you can open and save to docx. It's fantastic. I've opened docm files, no problem. So now you've got a free alternative to Microsoft Suite that the only thing it's missing is Outlook. Everything else is there. So you've got your spreadsheets, your, uh, your word processor. You've even got a PowerPoint alternative with Impress. And again, if you've ever used the Microsoft equivalent, you're going to find that it's, it's very, very similar. Not hard to learn at all. There we go. Ready to start creating my... Add a new slide. There we go. Even the hotkeys are the same. It's brilliant. So that is uh, LibreOffice. 
and it's available for a free download at LibraOffice.org. I'm going to take you there, and when we're on LibraOffice.org, you can actually go download. And you'll see that for me, it's defaulting to the Linux version, but you can go change system, version, or language, and you'll see that this is available for Windows, Mac, both Intel and PowerPC, and of course, Linux as well. LibreOffice is a free download. They are supported by donations. If you care to donate, if you're going to save a whole lot of money in your company to use this, there's a good opportunity for you to get something that's going to save you some money. Always give it a try before you go with the commercial product. See if it works for you. And then if, it, if you have any trouble, then you might consider going with the commercial alternative. Let's start with that. Fantastic stuff. LibreOffice.org. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.